All right, bro, we did City, we did Origins, and y'all really, really wanted Asylum, huh? Don't worry, bro, I got it. We will be finding out if Arkham Asylum is indeed King Arkham. So, the game opens up and not 10 seconds in, I have a major issue, but I can't elaborate until we see the full scope of the situation, so uh, we'll spin back. But we see the Batmobile turning corners, Batman has absolutely no regard for traffic laws, then we pass a street sign pointing to Arkham Asylum, now you know what this is, a villain drop off, and that villain is none other than the Jonkler, yeah that's right, I found the reddit. Mm hmm But bro is on screen for like six seconds and is already tweaking. I don't want to hear nothing saying you saying you got a zucchini skin. Yeah, I'm rocking the latest design to find the fur that chinchilla skin. You have to sing it too, Batman. You're my twizzy. There is no way my parents died for this. Batman pulls into Arkham, unloads Joker, and then the door opens. Now look at this. Of course, Batman thinks he's in the edit, but why is Joker on his knees? So they walk in, greeted by the guards and the warden of the asylum. And Joker's insanity meter is on 100% as per usual, so he's talking crazy regardless of who's around. So Joker's been acting mad strange for someone who's about to do 30 life sentences so batman tells the warden he's gonna follow joker through transit we walk through a hallway we can see some of the characters before you meet them uh most notably killer croc a 17 foot tall demon way bigger than the last time we saw him and apparently he's only gonna get bigger bro looks at batman talking about i'm gonna rip the flesh from your bones batman i have your scent and of course batman is unaffected but i'm looking at the screen like bro can somebody shoot that gator so croc is hauled out the way so we can use the elevator and this is where i start to doubt the whole greatest detective title that batman holds so dear i mean this situation is mad sketchy. Joker's been joking heavy this whole time. And once we get up the elevator, Bro damn near spells out his entire plan for the night, saying, Batman, ain't it crazy how a fire at another prison caused hundreds of my men to be moved here and even more on the same night that you brought me here? Wink, wink, an obvious threat of a planned attack. And now look at how this, this goober Batman responds. Tell me something. You've never let me catch you this easily. What are you really after? Brother, he just said he let himself get caught. We are in danger, Batman. But it gets worse. The lights go out in the elevator. Everyone proceeds to tweak out. The guards are banging on the walls, and Joker is laughing in his containment. But the lights eventually come back on, and what do I see? Batman's hands around another man's neck. He is addicted to it. He truly cannot go one game without one arm choking someone. If Joker wasn't strapped down in his chair, there's no doubt in my body that Batman would also lift him up in the air too. I should have kept the Arkham counter going, bro. We would have been uh, at 50 by now. And so we walk a bit more and meet up with Commissioner Gordon. They're like, oh, long day at the office. Uh, I tell you, you have no idea. And so Batman isn't allowed any deeper into the asylum because they think he might make the, the more insane patients lose their grip, which is a respectable excuse. They're probably scared of being lifted off the ground and strangled so they're taking joker down there right uh he's, he's getting walked to his cell but all of a sudden bro trips himself headbutts the officer and gets bro in the chokehold for some reason the doctor next to him starts unlocking joker's cuffs i mean i get it okay save the officer from this strangling but a quick uh, uh, would have incapacitated joker and save the guy but nope he unlocks the cuffs and joker spartan kicks bro leaves him with this pitiful one-liner the chokes on you yuck then hits whatever this is, oh, uh, oh, brother. We then find out that Harley has already infiltrated the asylum and buzzes a gate for Joker. Finally, Batman is able to break into the room, but it's too late. Joker is separated by a gate and calls in some thugs to handle the bat. But bro, I forgot how basic Asylum's combat is. Not even just the hitting the buttons part, but the actual experience of it. For a while into the game, most of the encounters are like three enemies max. Now, if you never played an Arkham game before or any of these games with like free flow combat, three enemies is nothing. Which means each fight is going by in seconds. That's why in later games, they straight up dump you in a, in a pit of deviance and say, have fun. Bro, there's not even a beatdown mechanic. I checked all the upgrades. It's not there. The most fun thing to do in these games wasn't invented until Arkham City, bro. I had no clue. It's really crazy seeing how far the games came. And so I destroy them and Joker is like, oh, come find me, Batman. But before I can find Joker, we run into a hostage situation with Zaz. A very background villain. Very, very background villain. He has a guard in an electric chair and the other guards are like, gee, Willikers, Batman, you gotta save him. L let's cut to the real, bro. This whole thing is just a tutorial for the stalker sections. You know, uh, hop on the gargoyles and creep. I do the glide thing and absolutely merge this guy's face to the floor tiles. After that, Harley conveniently appears on TV with that evil yap, showing off her new fit and her hostage, you know, bro. Just a, a normal, regular old caught you lacking again. You see, we're not gonna do this right here, bro. You know what you did. What you did. You tried it with Catwoman too, but now you're cooked and now there's consequences. Yeah, play me that clip. I do just about a little bit everything in regard of uh, cinematic. I, I acted as Joker, Batman, Harley at some point, Harley at some point, Harley at some point. <laughs> It is unconfirmed how many scenes he captured for Harley, so go ahead, and you think about that. Yeah. 
Yeah. So yeah, Harley has the warden, but who cares? Like, he didn't make a whole lot of red. Irrelevant. Barbara calls in and tells Batman that there's reports of Joker setting up bombs all over Gotham. But that's cat, bro. It's just a diversion to get all the cops away from the asylum. If you can't tell by now, bro's first phase of domination is taking over the asylum. So Batman goes further in, saves some cops from the Joker's gas, and saves this criminal too, but you know how that go. More runnings and beatings and boom, we catch up to Joker. And now Batman is tweaking, giving Origins a run for his money. He walks in the room, all calm. But out of nowhere, he pulls out a batarang and chucks that thing right at Joker. Luckily, he dodges it right in the nick of time, but what was Bruce thinking? Have you ever held a rope before? It's like really sturdy stuff. Now look at the average batarangs. Not only are they sharp as hell, but Batman is capable of throwing these things hard enough to turn rope into plastic bags. And he just threw it at Joker. So then Joker unleashes the first Titan of the series. Oh, what's a Titan? you say? Well, they're like the trolls of God of War before God of War. Whenever we need a boss fight but a villain is nowhere to be found, Titan. And yeah, bro, they suck to fight, but I'm gonna be honest with you, a lot of these fights are kind of eh. Mm -hmm. I think Scarecrow sections are the only ones that I, I like, and I'm not sure if I like them or if they're just really good next to walking in the sewers for like 25 minutes, but we'll get to it. This fight is pretty easy though, you can't actually hurt bro. So it's like Resident Evil 4, just wait for the bell, and by bell I mean heart attack. Joker's like, mm pathetic and gives batman a chance to hit him with another batarang but now he doesn't have a bloodlust so he tucks his throwing knife and lets the joker escape me personally <laughs> and so this guard hiding nearby lets batman into his office and mind you it's only been like 10 seconds since joker has left and he's already in another room on a skype call with batman and batman's like you'll never escape joker and now i'm mad it is very clear at this point that he is not trying to escape batman he let himself get caught he's acting like a homeless person that just ran into mr beast harley is in control of the security systems and how many patients are on the loose like all of them greatest detective where to get batman off his trail joker has harley kidnapped gordon via a traitorous officer we hike back to the entrance of the asylum and do the the crime scene thing the officer that has gordon likes to drink so we gotta follow bro's spillage we follow the trail for a little bit and we find harley and she does the most brain dead thing in this entire game Game. To get Batman off her trail, Harley blows up the elevator. But this is Batman, he has a grapple gun. I know she's seen it before, how does he get from roof to roof? But uh, we get the first real stalker section, and man bro. It is just like the combat, it is clear that this is the first game. You can find comps of people doing the craziest stuff in City and Night, stuff that I didn't even know was possible. But in Asylum, all you can really do is sneak up and choke people. You can't even do the fast slam, meaning if someone sees you mid-animation, Batman would just sit there and eat the bullets. It is the funniest thing ever. So I find the officer, and they knocked him off. Why? Who cares, he's irrelevant. And then we hear that voice. I swear bro, if it wasn't for Ivy existing, he would easily be my most hated character in the series. I'm not gonna rant about the trophies yet though. It is at his absolute worst in night, and I figured that the night video is gonna be like, mad long anyway. I might as well save it for that. I will say that some of the riddles were actually fun in this game, but that's only because I know way more about the Batman lore than I did in 2010. I mean bro, because of that nurse outfit, I had a hard time remembering who Harley was, and you expected me to know who the rat catcher was? Mm -mm. <laughs> but this playthrough, I genuinely found myself trying to to figure out the riddles every time I walked into a new room. You get these uh, character bios with the cool artwork for them too. This isn't present in any other game bro, like they should have kept that going. But I hate Riddler, we are not cool, you are not on the team. But the Riddler is like, oh Batman you gotta solve my riddle to get past this section. And I'm like oh my gosh. But Batman is ready to entertain the foolishness. The riddle is, don't cut yourself on this sharply absorbed portrait. Now all you have to do is take a picture of this portrait. I did it very easy this time around, it was, it was, it was nothing. But 14 years ago, I don't know what happened bro. I had a PlayStation 2, a GameCube, a Nintendo 64, Wii, Xbox, PlayStation, bro, PSP. I had it all. I had everything. I wasn't new to this. I was true to it. True to it. But I was stuck here for a good hour, bro. One of my top five greatest failures to date. But I do the dumb riddle puzzle. Uh, Riddler, you have to, a cop appears, yada, yada, yada. Ain't it weird how Batman can grip up the vents and rip them out of the walls? Like, he does this at least 30 times per game and I've never seen anyone question it. So I'll make it outside. And man, bro. Remember when I said that I had an issue at the start of the video? Yeah, that issue is the moon. Yeah, it looks cool, but bro, why is it so close? The next time we see the moon this close on this channel, it will be trying to destroy a planet. My brother, what of the tides and the sea turtles? But man, I really wish I had that remastered one, because that rain is fire. And so Oracle calls Batman and tells Batman about the car alarms going off, so we gotta go handle that. I get over there, and all we see is a gang of thugs bashing the Batmobile with all manner of scrap. I put an end to that swiftly, and I end up staring at the Batmobile like, this tiny Hot Wheel, bro, like, Batman can't fit in there. Where was Joker being held? There is a whole turbo engine right there, like there's no room. But look, Batman pops a trunk and gets the goo, blows up some rocks, and look at this. If you come here at different parts of the game, you can see this Joker mural thing slowly being built. 
I really like that. I like that. And so next, I terrorize every single rogue patient I see until I find Harley and Gordon. And I swear this interaction had me dead. Where's Gordon? Wouldn't you like to know? I'm over here. Shut up. Ah. And so Joker pops up on screen saying, what's Batman doing here so early? You are tweaking Harley. And Harley's like, my fault, OG. They start having this insane couple babble, but you see that laser door right there? You know what that means, right? I think one thing that made Arkham Asylum great and frustrating was really having to like find your way through this place, bro. It makes me feel so at home, you know, like this environment is perfect. The map is small enough that they had to really nail the scenery here. This whole game feels like an episode of the, the animated show. I break through the top of the building and you really start to feel that lack of a cast here. I mean, thank God Joker is rapping all over the radio and we get that chime every few seconds that yeah, I missed that. But who are these people? I did a stalker section and now the doctors are like, oh no, Joker's men kidnapped the rest of us and put us in different parts of the building. Save them, Batman. I'm like, who are you? I go save Officer Cash and his background doctor. So to save <laughs> Cash, you literally have to sacrifice an inmate. <laughs> now, I know this looks crazy, but in my defense, I didn't actually think they let me do it. But while we're here anyway, I might as well add one to the no kill rule counter. So I saved the next random doctor in this other room. But look, the main person we need to save is Dr. Young. Because Joker wants her. And jeez, bro, I, I might too. Um, but let me tell you something. As you can see, Batman has already caught one body and failed to get Joker. So I got him on one homicide and one attempted. We gotta bump that up to about... Mm, six. Because if you want me to believe that these men survived this explosion and rocks blasting at 50 miles per hour close range, you are silly. And Dr. Young should be dead bro look at this look at this spread but look bro i was playing arkham knight some weeks ago and after beating up some thugs i was looking at them through the detective screen and scoffed at the unconscious thing so i was like i wonder if they're actually breathing and sure enough there's a feature in the arkham games that has the enemies breathing i have never noticed that bro i just thought that was cool and so we meet back up with the apex side characters and then cash and dr young appear and she is spazzing saying she needs to get to the arkham mansion to get her notes before joker can take them and i mean she is really tweaking about these notes but mind you all the inmates have escaped some of them are armed and they're being led by the joker the only person who should be free roaming around here is me but officer cash's coonship is in full effect tells batman don't worry i'll get her to the mansion safe and sound and all white i, I mean all right batman has no choice but to take this deal because more strapped inmates come rushing in they all scatter leaving me to give the inmates their medicine and so i go in the elevator after joker pops on screen saying I've got you right where I want you, Batman. I could drop the elevator right now and you'd never see it coming. He's lying, though. The gas flooding the elevator is lying, too. The way it's spreading delusions. We tweak up and down the Arkham halls. See some doctors losing it. Scarecrow scurrying. Jason? Ah, uh, let's talk about it real quick. I really wish they would have set Jason up throughout these games. The best part about the Arkham games is all the lore and, you know, the things going on behind the scenes. Like the characters stalking you, finding all the hideouts and clues as to what's going to happen or what could happen in, in the next game. It really adds something. A feeling that most games don't give me. Now, when it came to Jason, bag fumbled. I'll go more in depth in the night video, but imagine if you could hear Jason's screams in the asylum. Imagine if you could see him stalking you through the city. I know it would have been even more obvious that he was the Arkham Knight, but we would have had at least years of hype and build up to go with that obvious reveal. But I don't blame Rock City. They couldn't have known how successful these games would be. So Batman is totally off his rocker. He sees Gordon getting dragged off and then finds some past tense. Batman is like, oh man, I can't believe this travesty. And so the next room has Bruce's dead parents in body bags. I know, I say something in every video about the obligatory dead parents section but i'll let it rock for asylum because it's the first game now that scarecrow jump scare got me back in 2010 though i was expecting to see bruce not a local dope fiend and then bruce falls to the ground like bro it is official asylum batman has something going on actual murders and falling batman doesn't fall but then we get the first scarecrow section and now i don't know how to feel about these sections so i'll just say i'll rock with them but yeah the music the scenery the, the fact that they don't throw you in all three sections at once and spread them across the game Oh yeah, bro. This is good. This is good. This is probably the only dream sequence I like in the Arkham games. Oh wait, no, no, no. Joker. Joker's is cool too, but that's it. That's it. The Scarecrow really fits the vibe this game was going for. In Night, he's cool. It's just kind of wasted, I think. He just sits on the radio mumbling his plans to his weird mask face thing. I shine the light on bro and he dissipates. Oracle calls back in to check on Batman and he's like, please send me some orange juice and an egg yolk. This band was bad. And next we gotta save Gordon. Oh, that body was just a, a rando, so yay. So six foot two, 250 pound Batman drops through the ceiling onto Harley. I won't give him the death, but if this was armored up night Batman, we batman unties gordon and gordon is like batman there's something there's something else in that room we gotta check that out and joker hops on screen like man gordon stop snitching we get down there and gordon tries hacking the computer to see what's going on but batman sees through the fog and immediately determines the situation to be 
critical that's Bane hanging up there tells Gordon to stand busily. Hold on, bro. Like, Batman's cowl looks so bad here. But Bane is hanging there. It drained like a battery that's been in the same remote for 11 years. Uh, yeah, that's awful, bro. I lost my touch. Batman asks Bane, who did this to him? And he says, Dr. Young. I tweak out, bro. Not Dr. Young. My angel would never. So Joker is a firm believer in the problems over peace argument and loads Bane up on that venom. Bane then starts getting bigger and bigger and bigger, hops down, runs at the bat, throws one, misses, another one, same effect. Batman jabs him but doesn't dodge this obvious grab. See, we're going out bad again. And now I'm upset because this fight is awful. Bane is literally just a titan with extra steps. Not only is he a titan, but he's th th this fight is just generic to the bone. Like, there's nothing for me to talk about here. Like, there there's even goons. And what, what am I supposed to do with this? But the fight ends crazy. The roof starts falling down, and Bane is going through withdrawal. Gets clobbered by the rubble, and Batman is like, huh, nah, I gotta put myself first. Grapples out of there. Now, I want you to look at this image, and notice how Batman is going up, and Bane is all the way down there. And also, yeah, there were thugs down there. They're, they're dead too, right? The rubble hits their unconscious bodies? Oh, nah. I'm gonna go ahead and add, like, about 30 to the death toll. You know, Batman thinks he's part of the TMNT and gets up and calls the Batmobile. It's coming. Gordon is up top too and Batman is like, uh, Gordon, we gotta get you off this island. You a liability. But Gordon's like, man, I'm real out here. It's big CG. What you talking about? I hate Gordon like so much, bro. You, you can't even pack Harley. She's always been one shot. Now that DLC does not count. Robin's bald head clearly nerfed his abilities. I gotta drop that video, bro. That footage is just sitting on my hard drive. But uh, Bane bursts out of the walls, but look at where he came from. It is up top. But I'm gonna let him have it though. Uh, maybe since the roof, the rubble fell, he found a hole that he could like hop up to and then burst out of wherever this is, bro. I don't know. He grabs Batman and says, Batman, I'm gonna break you. Then the doctor. Okay, one. Is that one comic your entire legacy? You were amazing in Origins. What happened? And two, keep her name out your mouth. Then Batman's like, no Bane. This time, I break you. I don't even get time to cringe before Batman commits another murder. Bane is 100 leagues under the sea with the Batmobile on top of him. Mr. No Kill and Police Officer, neither one of them, is worried in the slightest. Batman just sends Gordon back to Gotham without a care in the world. Like, I'm sorry, does Bane have super lungs like Omni-Man? Is he gonna hold it down for two weeks down there? Like, am I tweaking? So Batman and Oracle figure that it's strange that Joker wants Dr. Young's notes. And so Batman heads to his back cave that he had made on Arkham Island. How did he do this? Huh. Oh my god. With his greatest superpower money. He gets to the cave and Oracle presents all her research showing Dr. Young was illegally experimenting. <clears throat> with the venom leading to the creation of titans batman and orko are like oh it all makes sense meanwhile i'm in distress like she wouldn't do that she's a good person now we gotta head to that mansion where she and cash went to get the notes before joker can use them to like make more titans bro because we we, can, we can't have any more of this that's crazy the the the, two, the first two boss fights in this game are titans that's crazy before i got to the mansion though i saw this door in the sewers and look at this so croc is at this door right uh doing the the carnivorous rap i'm gonna i'm gonna eat your flesh and all that okay 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 bro but where does he go where is he going? This is the other side of that door. Like, I, I didn't know Nightcrawler was in the DC canon. So I make it to the mansion, right? But this place is overrun with patients, inmates, whatever you want to call them. You know, for an asylum for the most insane individuals, this place is filled to the brim with nothing but professional bodybuilders. Like, bro, peep the ock. But I lay waste anyway, because Dr. Young may be in peril. And Cash too, I guess. So yada, 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 right? I, I find Cash, save Cash. He's like, Dr. Young ran to her office. I speed to the office, but she's not there. I hold my chest and fall to the floor because her safe is open, meaning not only is she gone, but there's now gonna be thousands of recycled titan fights no but video footage reveals that she was the one that opened the safe and made off of the notes i wipe my tears and thank god for this w and i do the detective thing follow her prince save some doctors from the bomb up uh, who cares bro They're, none of them are dr young and now i'm tight like bro where is this lady at like this section blows but then the bat gets gassed and now two dead parent sections in one game no! I get it, bro. They're dead. They're cooked. They're out of here. They were one tap. But why must I get trauma dumped every single game? Oracle is in a wheelchair. Like, l l let's get a fear episode about Joker pulling up to her house and shooting your kind of daughter in the spine. But no, we gotta go back to your dumb parents. Like, bro, what about Jason? Your your greatest failure? How about that? No, I don't want to talk about Scarecrow's section. Like, bro, you ruined it. You ruined it for next man. And now he wakes up on top of a clock tower. Wow, this is a real type of type of situation huh uh, what am i talking about we press through the rest of the mansion and joker says zaz has dr young you better get to her batman next i see zaz is hauling her away on some hostage situation now all i gotta do is throw a battery ring when he sticks his head out yeah it's rewind time i did it this time though let's go ahead and add that to the body counter though because like bro he took one of these to the face be honest and so young is beating on that corpse so batman is like chill out 
La baby. So she explains the whole Titan formula thing. Um, oh, I never mentioned that she actually planned to, on selling the Titan formula to Joker. In fact, she already took the money. But, 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 I know. She wanted to back out of the deal when she found out that Joker would use the Titan to, like, cause crazy levels of chaos. But, like, wh what did you expect him to do? Hang the formula up on his wall? Like, bro, goofy? I don't mean that, bro. She could never be goofy. I'm sure she just made a mistake. Like, no one's perfect. She also tells Batman where the uh, the Bane Venom is hidden. Because, you know, Venom plus formula equals terror. It's all hidden in, like, the garden with Ivy. No. But right as she's about to get the keys to the garden, she opens up the safe and gets boomed. <sighs> bro, okay, 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 bro. Batman is waking up. But I'm in shreds. Like, bro, Dr. Young was so misunderstood. If it, like... If anything, she was a real hero taken from us too soon. Like, bro, now I gotta hear this clown yap. I'm talking about, um, bad, oh, bad brain. I got this old guy hostage. Like, I don't care. Who cares? Take him. I have nothing left. Uh, all right, but anywho, so Harley has the warden guy, but this part is so, so boring, bro. I even remember playing it and thinking, yikes this is boring this is terrible bro which sucks because it's, it's harley's section it's like her boss fight and everything but it's it's awful bro it's so bad like you just you know it makes me want to cut the video in half just so i don't have to talk about it just and just do it later but bro i'm not i'm not gonna go in depth on like the the, the last half of this game bro like poison uh... ivy i hate her you know you're gonna see the boss fight you're gonna you're, you're gonna see everything about it bro this game is so much better to play than it is to talk about if i'm being honest because in origins when batman wasn't beating someone down he was screaming at alfred in city there was always something crazy going on like sharks solomon grundy racial penguin catwoman you name it it was there i mean you might even say i got i got tiktok brain i need dopamine every five seconds that very well may be true i guess it's just that this game is kind of it's so bare it's so bare but that's only because it's the first game the foundation the atmosphere is what they really nail in this game that's what's that's what's really got me enamored the characters that matter the easter eggs the the secrets the menu the sounds i don't think the vibe of this game was captured in any of the other ones it is just so different from the rest man but golly bro the the, the, the gameplay aspects of it that, that's what they didn't nail bro like that's what they didn't get right until like did they ever get it right i mean like city had like the the radio things origins like everybody just hates origins for no reason so uh, uh and knight has the tank bro i guess there's really faults for like all the games right i don't know bro it just feels like there's something missing bro i mean that's why i'm doing the whole murder counter thing bro i'm creating drama for myself i've been tweaking this entire time oh my maybe it was me maybe i was the batman arkham asylum all along all right bro i'm done complaining let me let me just uh so we, we find the warden he yaps uh blah 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 i find harley beat her yeah she's one shot in this game too her boss fight is absolutely terrible too like all you do is beat up these thugs and then sometimes the floor is electric like ah, okay 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 and she freed ivy at some point so that's very unfortunate we then wandered to the house of vegetation and oh no it's joker he throws a guard in some lightning water that stuff uh yada 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 titan fight oh my gosh no i'm snoozing whose idea was this like who's responsible for this but i beat them and joker escaped and now we need ivy's help to find a plant or uh bro i'd rather nuke the entirety of gotham than to get help from arkham ivy but that's not an option so we need a special plant mold to produce a cure for titan because joker is full-on titan maker man now and ivy is the plant master so she knows where every plant is batman goes to her asks her where it is and she's like it's down there batman down where down where I- Oh man, you know what I just remembered? Around the time that I bought Arkham Asylum, this song by Wiz Khalifa, Black and Yellow, was going crazy on the radio. And man, bro, I got Shattered Dimensions for that Christmas. Yeah, it's midnight when I'm making this, and I'm just hitting that, that stare now, like, sheesh, what happened to me? Uh, anyways, bro, I'm sure anyone who has played this game is familiar with this part. Like, you're walking down this hallway, and all of a sudden, the game glitches out to the deaths, screen ripping, having a seizure. This is the only part of the game, besides Ivy, that is burned into my head. It was the middle of the night, bro. I was on the couch, playing Arkham Asylum, having the time of my life also my copy came with a 3d glasses like bro what, what was i supposed to do with those but uh the game glitching only lasts about six seconds before it turns on again but in that time i went through several i went through every emotion possible i was like hell i'm over it's finished bro i'm never gonna be able to play batman ever again wait this is a crazy kind of glitch not even my ps2 scratch disc screen was this bad no no my xbox is cooked that's what this is arkham asylum was a was a virus and i can't afford another xbox spider-man shadow dimensions is coming out what am i gonna do then the screen comes on and, and now i'm just glad that the xbox in the game works i was totally fine 
with restarting this entire game as long as I could keep my livelihood. Then I see Joker driving the Batmobile and now I am flatlining bro my head is messed up. Rock said he pulled the play of the century with this one. And so then we play as Joker wheeling Batman through the asylum with Harley and everyone else. I thought this was so cool bro but they had to ruin it with this middle stick nonsense. The camera snaps to Batman's POV and after some villain yap Joker pulls out the strapper and cranks up 100 damage no shield on Batman. And then the death screen says move the middle stick. What does that mean? What do the numbers mean? I'm sitting there confused like trying to figure this out like hyping myself up before i hit the restart button like bro what 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 what's, what's to you what, what's up and mind you black and yellow by wiz khalifa was blasting in the background this entire time if it wasn't for copyright this would be a truly psychedelic experience right now like bro it was so crazy like if you had this part spoiled for you before going into the game that is just unfortunate bro that is just terrible because this is truly like one of the best like weird twists or things ever in a game bro but yeah another scarecrow section happens but it's it's just like the others just longer so meh so batman snaps out of it gripping scarecrow and bro was like i have loaded you up with gallons of liquid molly and percocets how are you still standing batman we follow scarecrow down to croc's lair and it's kind of crazy that scarecrow fled to the exact place we need to go and he's at the edge of the sewer saying he'll drop this bag of fear toxin in in this dirty water and it'll, it'll poison gotham or something like that and then look at this he says don't step any closer batman while letting batman step a mad closer then croc hops out of the water and grabs scarecrow waving him around like a trophy batman eats a battering at croc's collar but to no avail but scarecrow drops the bag right before he's taken into the deaths but you know what bro go ahead and uh, add it up all right you know exactly what's next the surprise scary killer croc section basically the the plant that ivy was talking about is in here it's a rule of three barbara is on the phone like oh geez i don't know about this one bruce so before we go in batman laces some of the walls with goo we get in there bro and i'm beyond this, this section is is not that great bro hear me out i'm not scared in the slightest bro i am arkham batman and i've also played this section like twice before the first time i played it though it, of course i was scared it was like getting punched in the chest with a brick over and over but without fear all this section is is walking down from plank to plank to plank until you get to the next plant you can't run because croc will just insta knock you and the line grappler can be unwise and when croc does show himself he can be dealt with by one battering do you see what i mean bro like the majority of this section is just this like Look at it. Matter of fact, put it, put it, put it in double speed. I'm snoozing. And then it ends with you having to walk the, the 500 meters back to the entrance. Now, luckily, the devs were sane enough to let you run the, the last 100. And then we get to throw Croc into the pit with the explosives from earlier. But this is it. We finally got to talk about it. I've been alluding to it since Arkham City. Bro, poison ivy. Brother, these videos almost never happened because of her. I almost never finished this game because of her. She is a plague on the name of this monumental title. Nothing bad that I have said about this game even touches the horrors of which she has committed. So we get back to the back cave, right, with the plant mold. But during that time we were in the sewer, Joker gave Ivy some Titan and she gave the Titan to her plants. Hold that for a little bit. Batman and Barbara were able to come up with a cure. We make a cure for something in like every game, bro, that's crazy. But right after it's ready, we get Ivy's first calamity the vines see these vines break through the back cave batman gets knocked off an edge but who cares they block off the entrance to the cave so now we gotta use the ultra bat claw which i'm kind of mad never made it to any other game like it's dumb but you know it's like it's three black it's three back claws and how does putting two more claws on that thing give you enough strength to rip down walls this is that that tomb raider timing so instead of just going through the sewers like normal we gotta frolic around the outskirts of the island and find a way back into the sewers where we can then start to work our way back to the main grounds but i don't mind this one too much it's really pretty out there but that's why this is only calamity level one ivy's second calamity the pods with ivy at max overdrive strength she now has enemies all over the asylum and all they do is shoot these uh i don't know what are those they shoot out of the pods and home in on you like a like a tactical new strike now i'm well versed in simply running and zipping around the asylum to avoid these hellhounds 2010 i was getting beamed left and right like a like a, a, I don't know, bro. I was getting cooked. And they are like everywhere, bro. In every building, all over the outside. And then there's snipers outside still. And I didn't even say, I, bro, there, there's these things I didn't mention, bro. The lunatics. So now you got uh, lunatics running around. You got sniper plants. And then you've got actual snipers in the skies, depending on where you are, bro. It's crazy out there. But once you actually find Ivy again, we reach our third and final calamity the boss fight the year is 2010 approximately 2 p.m on a tuesday somewhere between september and october i was sitting on my couch playing the game probably for the third day in a row everything was fine everything was dandy but all of a sudden i am bombarded with the kidney stone that is this fight i was stuck here 
for three days. Three days. I was having so much fun. And then all of a sudden, I am seriously debating on whether or not I'm going to be able to finish this game. Brother, it was 2010. There was no YouTube guide to help. Oh, yes, there was. YouTube was invented in 2006. That's plenty of time. To wah, wah, wah. One, my PC was garbage. Two, my Wi-Fi was trash. Three, that guide would have looked like this. The game guide, the actual book, would have been my only salvation. Did I have enough money for that? No, I blew it all on this game. In all of my gaming career, bro, I have never been stuck on a boss fight for three days. Except for him. But that's a story for another day. And after playing the game again, bro, I think my issue was my lack of battering usage. See, the game doesn't really tell you that you can spam batterings on the Titans and Bane and Ivory. You just have to like figure it out. But the damage is so minimal that you probably won't even notice if the battering works or not, which then just leaves you waiting for the the opening, you know, when um Ivy opens up her pod. And she does it for no reason too. It's just it's just for plot. But she only ever opens up her pod after an onslaught of zombies, coordinated plant blasts, and the ground grabbing and holding Batman hostage if he's a single frame into the bushes, bro. I hate it. 3 days. I literally almost quit the game and never looked back, bro. You think I would have? You think I would have bought Arkham City if I never beat it? Mm -mm, no. But let's wrap this up, bro. A boom, Ivy. She falls into the depths. The gloom has her now. Joker's party is ready. Hip hip hooray! Fireworks. I will beat every single person that claps for my accomplishments. They're criminals, bro. And I'm a psycho. Hats won't change that. Hats won't change nature. And Joker gives his yap again, bro. I grab my head, remembering all the times I've been through this same thing before. Across DVD, VHS, movie theaters, comic books, video games, future games, future movies, vid future videos. Then he sends out some titans again, bro. Oh my gosh. One last slap in the face from the devs. I beat them, and then Joker injects batman with the titan formula and batman does the i am vengeance i am the knight i am batman and straight up wills the toxins from his system denying the transformation so joker's like well, guess i'll do it myself injects himself with the serum and here we are i'm not gonna hold you bro out of all the ways i saw this game ending this was never on the bingo board but my game decides to absolutely tweak out right at the end with this is there a lore reason for this? Is he stupid? But um, but dum dum. What's actually supposed to happen is the the Titan Joker emerging from the Arkham building, bat in hand, and the whole of Gotham watching on the news. This must be crazy for people at home, right? If Batman loses his fight, then you know that thing on screen is beaming right for the mainland. You know they was calling off work just in case. Joker is trying to get Batman to change into a Titan, but bro was fighting those demons, them chemical demons, like me fighting the intrusive thought to flush my arm down the toilet. Uh, Batman injects himself with the cure, and I'm like, okay, bro, one, maybe you could have just reached your arm out, injected him, and just ended the night with that i mean uh you could have waited for him to let you go and then hopped on his back and they injected him i don't know and two titan batman and joker would have been a way better fight than this because it's a, it's just another titan fight bro like the final fight is just another titan fight bro. i don't get it except this time you can't actually hurt joker you just have to wait for him to you know matter of fact just look at it look at it let's get ready to tango that looks like it break from the ants if like what then you do this three times and then he gets shocked to mars and back and finally i can stand you're next throwing me bats you can't beat me i'm actually going to win ready for the next round always what i'll never let you win <laughs> never <laughs> I didn't edit this bro this is raw footage i failed i don't know how like okay i was on one hp but like what what happened between now this moment in the cutscene bro what happened but yes bro i fought him again saw the ending cutscene uh two faces about to go rob a bank so batman has to skedaddle and i love this game to death bro yes it frustrates me but the good far outweighs the bad and the annoying but yeah bro go vote for the next video i was gonna put that game on there but if i can get it i'll just like probably surprise upload it whenever it's ready bro i don't know i am in no rush to pop purple pimples and as far as arkham knight bro i will have to hold off on it because my pc is tweaking bro and that video might end up being an hour we're splitting to parts bro because i my editor cannot handle that bro it's not happening but i don't know bro if you never hear from me again just know that everything that could have went wrong went wrong and if you're new to my channel boy do i have a playlist for you rp arlene sorkin uh, happy joker retirement mark hamill and kevin conroy thank you
I'm on the side, but we win. You know the guy, cause I'm him. I write that big body right out the lot. Is Gio leaking with a tin? I don't wanna hear none you saying, you saying you got a Jatini Chishin. Yeah, I'm rocking the latest design and defiance the fur that chinchilla skin. You have to sing it too, Batman. You're my Twizzy. There is no way my parents died for this.